Hi, my name is Sir Nilsson and welcome to yet another Spine user guide video. This time I'll be going over bounding boxes and paths in Spine. A bounding box is a polygon that is attached to a bone and like any other attachments, when the bone is transformed, the polygon is also transformed. Bounding boxes can be used at runtime for hit detection, physics boxes or a location to spawn particles. The term bounding box is actually a bit of a misnomer. Technically, a bounding box is the smallest rectangle that contains an object. In Spine, bounding boxes are arbitrary polygons, but they're often used to define the bounds of the skeleton for hit detection or physics purposes. To create a new bounding box, select a bone or a slot in the tree, go to the properties at the bottom of the tree, then choose new and then bounding box. The new bounding box shows up in the tree and edit mode will automatically be selected. The new mode inside of edit mode is also automatically selected. While in new mode, clicking in the editor area will create new polygon vertices. Vertices can also be translated by dragging or deleted by double clicking. When the polygon is complete, Exit new mode by clicking the first vertex to close the shape or by clicking the new button. Edit mode has two tools, create and delete. Create allows new vertices to be created along the edges of the polygon by clicking and delete allows vertices or edges to be deleted also by clicking. With either of those tools, vertices can be translated by dragging or deleted by double clicking. Right clicking will switch tools. You can exit edit mode at any time by pressing spacebar or escape, or by closing the edit bounding box dialog, or by clicking the edit button in the properties at the bottom of the tree. The bounding box vertices can be edited outside of edit mode by using the transform tools. The entire bounding box can be rotated, translated and scaled like any other attachments. Individual vertices can be translated with any transform tool by dragging. Multiple vertices can be selected by holding down control and then clicking or dragging to box select. The selected vertices can be deselected by pressing spacebar or escape or by clicking in an empty space. The origin used for rotational scaling can be changed by moving your mouse over the small crosshair at the center of the rotate or scale tool until a small circle appears. When the circle appears, drag the origin to the desired position. The origin will automatically snap to vertices. A path is defined as a composite Bezier spline. It is made of knots, which are vertices on the path, and handles, which are vertices that control the curve of the path between the knots. Like other attachments, when the bone is transformed, the knots and handles are also transformed. Paths can be used with path constraints to constrain bones to follow the path. To create a new path, Select a bone or a slot in the tree, then in the bottom of the tree, click New, and then Path. The new path will appear in the tree, and Edit Path Mode is automatically selected. New mode inside of the Edit Path Mode is also automatically selected. While in New Mode, clicking in the Editor area will create a new knot and its handles. Clicking and dragging will create a new knot, but also adjust the handles. Vertices can be translated by dragging or deleted by double clicking. When the path is complete, exit new mode by clicking the first knot to close the path or by clicking the new button. Edit path mode has two tools which are create and delete. Create allows new knots to be created by clicking between existing knots. Delete allows knots to be deleted by clicking. With either of those tools, vertices can be translated by dragging or deleted by double clicking. Right clicking will switch tools. Edit path mode can be exited at any time by pressing spacebar escape 
or by clicking the Edit Path button in the properties at the bottom of the tree, or by closing the Edit Path dialog. Path vertices can be edited outside of Edit Path mode by using the Transform tools. The entire path can be rotated, translated, and scaled like any other attachments. Individual vertices can be translated with any transform tool by dragging. Multiple vertices can be selected by holding down Ctrl and then clicking or dragging to box select. The selected vertices can be deselected by pressing spacebar or escape or by clicking in an empty space. The origin used for rotation or scaling can be changed. Mouse over the small crosshair at the center of the rotate or scale tool until a small circle appears. Then drag the origin to the desired position. The origin will automatically snap to vertices. When moving a handle, shift can be helped to lock the angle of the handle so it'll only move towards or away from the knot. This is useful if you want to adjust the curve on only one side of the knot. Normally when moving a handle, the handles on the opposite side of the knot will also move. By holding down ALT, a handle can be moved without affecting the other handle. This will result in a cusp where the transition from one curve to the next is not smooth. When closed is checked, the first and last knots are connected. Uncheck and closed will open the path again. When constant speed is checked, additional calculation are performed to make calculating positions along the path more accurate. When used with a path constraint, this results in bones moving along the path at a constant speed. When unchecked, fewer calculations are performed, but calculating positions along the path is less accurate. The accuracy is worsened when the handles affecting a portion of the path have dissimilar distances to the respective knot. Accuracy may also be worsened if vertices are moved from the setup post position using to form keys or weights. Unless performance when calculating positions along the path has proved to be an issue, it is recommended to leave constant speed checked. It should only be unchecked when the limitation is understood and the non-constant speed behavior is acceptable. Just like keying meshes, when bounding box vertices or the vertices of a path have been manipulated in animate mode, the bounding box or path can be keyed. Bounding boxes and paths can be deformed automatically when bones are transformed. For the best result in paths, typically the knot and handle should have the same weights. We'll go more into depth with weights in a later video. So once again, thank you for watching. I hope you found the video helpful and we'll watch the next one. So bye for now.